We're gonna hit some shops. Oh, do you know what? I think you read my mind. Yeah. Uh oh. Sale. I actually love that. <laughs> to me, to you. To me. Sale table. This is a home shopping miracle. <laughs> Could you just bang your head on this? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back with a vlog today, and look who's joining us for Some it. Sunglasses on cue. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just met up in Green Park. It's a lovely day in London today. It is. Um, and we did have a plan, but the plan's just changed. So I thought um, I would just take you along um, and see how the day unfolds. Today is Tuesday, is. and we've got the afternoon free, basically, now, haven't we? We do, yeah. A bit unexpected, a yeah. little, bit, little bit meh. But you know what? It's a lovely day, and I'm sure we'll make the most of it. Yeah. Are we going to hit some shops? I was... Do you know what? I think you read my mind. Yeah. I was just about to say, when do we ever get an afternoon off of the calendar, yeah. blocked out? Just have a little mooch. have a little mooch around. Let's do that. You so we'll make this a come shopping with me. Yeah. That's the title. And also with us. some drinks. Yeah. A drink. Oh, yeah, later on. Yeah. And we've got yeah. a lovely little belated birthday dinner. Yeah. It's a very nice block. Yeah. Yay. So, um, before we get going, if you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe. I'm posting new videos every single week. And if you enjoy this spontaneous vlog and would like to see more vlogs around London and Luke, because he will be back as well. Oh, just force him in. <laughs> <laughs> then do give this video a thumbs up. made it to Regent Street. If you're from out of London and you've never been sort of homeware shopping, I think this is the best place to start because you've got Anthropology, you've got Zara, you've got the new H&M Home, you've got Zara Home, this, actually it's just Zara Home isn't it, proper one. Who else is along here? I feel like there's, there's definitely more. There's Arket, is it? Yeah, Arket. That's yeah, got that's some Arket. A little bit pricey, but very yeah. nice, been, like scanned. Nice simple things in there. So. Definitely a good place to head to, and it's usually not too busy. I mean, it's quite busy as you can see, but I feel like I'm being a tour guide. <laughs> and here we have, yeah. here we have Luke Callow in his element, <laughs> homeware shopping. So first stop, I think, is going to be where should we head in first? Anthropology. Oh, Zara Home is on the left. Zara Home first. Let's do it. We've got a new collection in store. I love this glassware. I like to get bits of inspiration in these places and then look out for everything at the car boot sale. So like thick glasses in. <laughs> How nice is that? The price is like, that's 29.99. Nice textured wall hanging here. This is $29.99. Yeah. The, the fabrics in here are really nice, aren't they? That is beautiful. Oh, yeah. I noticed that be on the end of the bed. Oh, it says here 60% acrylic. No, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. Oh, right. Feels lovely. It does, doesn't it? Nice big vases. These are really nice. Hello. Yeah, lovely actually. <laughs> Lots of corally colours in store at the moment. Did you say that's coral? I really want to get the browns. I love these tables. How nice are they? Definitely yeah, we could. <laughs> Bit of a Rustoleum on that. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know. Spray it gold. Absolutely. <laughs> A bit of um, vinyl uh, marble on the top. Yeah. <laughs> Three, four, oh, wow. Yeah. Like a proper chunky rug. Nice gold leaf detail on these vases. I love like natural linens for the bedroom. Yeah. Simple like seagrass. Zara Home is quite pricey. Yeah. You're saying we do think Zara Home is quite pricey. I definitely recommend coming in the sale here. Because some of the things, I think they're very similar quality to kind of like H&M Home and similar to that, but the price point's always that little bit more. And you know that we love a bargain. Next 
stop is anthropology. <laughs> it does smell so good in here. You are my pill, I swallow it. Take me away to Neverland. What colors fade my disbelief and make me forget my memories. Rent a car you can't afford. Put it on that we both know. Let your hair out in the wind. Put the pedal to the floor. Flame your light and take a smoke. Put your broken rip off, wafers on Doesn't matter if the sun goes down We'll still be up, still be up Don't care about the place we found We'll still be up, still be up We're in this together I think I spied a little sail over there Uh-oh! Sail! Yeah Like the Aztec This is the theme we're thinking for our new Yeah Bohemian Yeah With a little bit of yeah. Oh yes, love that. We will still be Well, we're doing a scaffolding board show. Oh, yeah. Um, Brackets. Like this yeah. Really nice, but this is like 34 pounds. Oh, no. Get, get one of them in pound, then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just spray it. <laughs> oh. Five pounds. What is that? Is it a bird? And your mate here. <laughs> I think so. I'd never know which is which. <laughs> these are reduced to 13 such a nice gift idea and these do smell really good they're sparkling grapefruit basically just smells like a really nice cocktail these plates are nice Luke's found a watering can that's nice very nice 50 quid yeah you could <laughs> It's very cool. They've wrapped it with, oh, very nice. Yeah. Luke just showed me um, some footage of the new place that he's moving into, and it's got a bit of an outdoor area, which is very exciting. Is. Make sure you pop over and subscribe, because I'm sure he'll be doing some bits out on the roof terrace. We've already got our um, outdoor furniture. Oh, have you? We need to buy everything else. So yeah. Some inspiration, because I mean, your terrace is beautiful. I have to pop around and have a little look. <laughs> <laughs> I love going that thing and nosy around other people's houses. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you like doing that. Oh, yeah. And do you ever open their cupboards when they're not looking? <laughs> <laughs> Love these. Just crack that open. <laughs> it's nice, bit of detailing. That's very cool. Get some ideas in here. They've got bowls here and mugs for a dog person or a cat person. So let me know which one you are. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I think I'm a cat person, but I do love dogs. So I'm probably, hmm, but yeah. I'm probably more on the side of crazy cat lady. <laughs> <laughs> Luke's definitely a dog person, I'm aren't you? Absolutely, I'm just eyeing the ball of bees. I sometimes think so cute. In my head, like my head. Oh yeah. Just what would you, yeah. Frederick. Yeah. Rupert. Yeah. Snowy. 
Yeah. Oh, you prefer like, mm, I'm a traditionalist when I come to dog names. Like, I like Frank. Oh, right, yeah. I like to call a dog Frank. So who's that then? Sally. This is Sally, 100% Sally. <laughs> Absolutely. We've been very good. We haven't bought anything. We haven't bought a single morsel. But the new yes, but <laughs> we're going to the. I was going to say it's the new us, but we're onto the <laughs> mother ships coming up. It is H and M home. Here we are. In we go. Probably like the third time on the vlog that we've been into this store. I think. Yeah, and if you include all my travel vlogs, it's probably like the twentieth. I was about to say we've done many H and M in Amsterdam. Yes. Yeah. Just this one. Three floors. No. Yeah. Three floors. Is it? Or two. First time. Gypsytheria. I learned a little tip from Lucy Jessica Carter. She was talking about weddings. Now, if you buy this stuff, Gypsferia, it's very cheap, but very pretty. So you can bulk out anything with that. Yes. I've seen the multicolored varieties before, but that's very pretty. Peonies here. Cause we will still be high when the lights out. Goodness, I love this. I actually love that. $17.99, that is so nice. Where's Luke? I think he's gonna love that as well. Luke spider rug that he likes. That chair's fab. And the plant stand here. I really like these stools. These are, are they 59? That's not too bad, you know. Very nice. So this is the flagship store. And with this being the flagship store, there's more than one floor here, so you can go up to the first floor for the bedroom and the bar and stuff as well. I do love this plant pot, I think mean, that's so cool. Cool marble tray. 24.99, not bad, really nice solid piece. How much was the rug? 34 99 Okay, not, not bad. Cheap. Thinking the rug might be cheaper in Ikea. Are you going to Ikea anytime soon? I've done two Ikea cheese. Definitely pop over to Luke's channel and subscribe if you haven't already because it sounds like there's going to be a lot of home content coming up with the yes. house move. Kate McCabe, if you're watching, some nice bits in here, three pounds. It's cool, a coffee dripper so you can drip filter your coffee into the pot. That's really nice, nine quid. Just spied the sale table. It's a sweet. Is that a little key on them? It's the gold, I don't know if I've just like done it too much. You're a bit over the gold, yeah. I'm very into the slightly more muted stuff at the minute, 15 pounds, that's quite nice. That is lovely. Nice um, summery cushion covers. We've got nice candle gift sets reduced down to seven pounds. These are down from uh, 14 99 nice little gift idea. This style reminds me of Ralph Lauren Home. If ever you're in Bond Street, the um, Ralph Lauren store there has a homeware section down below in the basement. These are only $8.99. I think they look so good quality for that. They're quite reasonable as well, I think. Like $3.99? That's really good. Yeah. They'd be quite nice to Yeah, like utensils. That's yeah. What I was the big ones are $7.99 or $8.99. Yeah, $8.99. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that could be really good. I absolutely love this sink. That's so nice. Look at this sink. Yeah. Do they sell that? No. This bed looks very inviting. My sweet mess. <laughs> this is a home shopping miracle. Neither of us have bought a single thing, not a single item. I'm quite proud. I Very proud sure. of us. I didn't expect it. I yeah, mean, I thought one of us might cave. So, I needed, but we've come away with yeah. absolutely nothing. 
But I think we're off for some drinks now, so yes. I might just include a bit of footage of that. But I'm probably going to end the vlog here, yeah. just so we can go and enjoy a little drink in the sunshine. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, do give it a little thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and pop over to Luke's channel as well. He's vlogging today too, so yeah. I'll link his video down below when that goes up for you as well. Um, but thanks so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. I had ended the vlog, but I'm popping back on. I've got something else to show you. We've come to a place called the Charter House, which is in the middle of the city, but it's got this kind of secret garden. So I just wanted to quickly show you it. Um, we're here with a new drink that's come out called Thomas Tipple, which is kind of like a um, wine cocktail in a tin. There's one down there on the picnic blanket. I've gone for a passion fruit mimosa, and Luke's just tried the raspberry one, so it's very good as well. And yeah, but have a look at this garden. This is such an old uh, building as well. So it's kind of in, do you call this cloisters, I think? And it's just got such a beautiful garden here. So this garden is open to the public occasionally. You can book tours if you fancy ever popping in for a little look around. And they also have um, an open day or an open week, I think once a year. So um, you can have a look and see when that's on if you fancy a visit. But it's so peaceful in here, isn't it? Like, we were feeling like we had to keep our voices down because it was like, I mean, it's it so calm. It's very residential. Yeah. People who do live here, but yeah. It's just lucky people, eh? Yeah. They've got any rooms available. Did you just bang your head on this? <laughs> How much is this? Sure. I'll go your way. To me, to you, to me, to you. <laughs>